So last episode was the 2018 NBA All-Star Weekend. It was pretty good. We got some pretty good winners there. The East obviously won the NBA All-Star Weekend, or the NBA All-Star Game. But now let's get down to the meat and potatoes of the NBA All-Star Weekend. And that's the trade deadline. So we have a few players that are unhappy. We got Kevin Looney and Jeremy Grant. LeBron, he's just... He just heard about trade rumors because teams are somehow tra trying to trade for him. I don't know why they're trying to trade for him because we're not going to trade him right now. If we're, we're going to trade LeBron, it's at the draft because we could probably get some picks from him. But guarantee no trade for now. So LeBron's happy right now, hopefully. And now let's get down to Kevin Looney and Jeremy Grant. So Kevin Looney and Jeremy Grant, they're great players on paper. They're at least, I think, yeah, Jeremy Grant's 77 overall. And Kevin Looney is 74 overall. They're getting higher overalls. Jeremy Grant, I mean, Kevin Looney's got a B potential. He's going to be really good in a few years. But the only problem is, is they're unhappy here. He does not want to play here next season. But the only problem is, is Kevin Looney's not in charge here. He's got one more year at the team option. So I might actually keep Kevin Looney just based on his overall and his age. He's only getting better with age. He's fine. Like a fine wine. And yeah, or no, yeah, fine wine. And yeah, I'm probably going to keep him. So let's move on to Jeremy Grant. So he's an unrestricted free agent after this year. He's a great player. I like everything about him ever since we traded for him. But it's time for him to move on. Both parties have to move on. Our team's not doing well right now. Somebody's got to go. And Jeremy Grant looks like the one who's going to go. The one who's going to escape this dumpster fire. So let's go find go to the trade finder and see what we can get for Jeremy Grant. He's 23 years old. He's making 1.05 million dollars, so he's pretty cheap. So a lot of teams will be in the market for him. Two stars for trading potential, so that's good. So let's go back to offer one. So we got Christian Wood in a second round pick from Philly, but we're giving up the first round pick 2020. Don't want that. On uh, next trade, Perry Jones, Damian Inglis. Don't really want one-year deals because we're giving up a one-year deal. Plus, they don't want to give up Joe Harris either. No deal. Theo Pinson, nope. Chris Humphreys, Bruno Caboclo, don't really want both of them. First round picket from Detroit, 2019, and Walter Devarez. That's not too bad, but I don't really want picks. I want to boost up for the playoffs, and I'm kind of losing value with this a little bit too. No trade. J Josh Richardson, one-year deal, 72 overall, 24 years old. Another one-year deal. Don't want one-year deals here. Want players with probably two or, two or more years on them. But Charlotte, first-round pick, and P.J. Hairston with Pero Antic. Don't really want this one either. He's making $2 million. He's on a one-year deal. Is he on his team option, though? Nope. Unrestricted free agent. This one, Sacramento. So we got Jeremy Grant and Joe Harris for Willie Cauley-Stein. Two and a half starters, trading potential. 78 overall, but he's got on that one-year deal, though. But that's on a team option, too. So two-year deal practically. We have at center we got Rudy Gobert and Kevin Looney practically, but Willie Cauley Stein he's practically like Rudy Gobert. He's good at defense, perimeter defense, good at rebounding, good at post defense, but his athleticism is better. And his potential is a B plus. Willie Cauley Stein's actually not that bad. Seven one, two hundred forty-two pounds, twenty-four years old from Kentucky. This trade is not as bad as it looks. So we're giving up Jeremy Grant, the three-point shooter, and Joe Harris. The only problem is Joe Harris, though. I like the guy. But his potential's going down. C+. Plus, I thought he was at a B. So he's kind of got that curse put on him where no matter how good he is, he's always going to go down. So should we trade him? We haven't really played him too much. I always say how good he is, but we never play him. He gets like two points, three points sometimes. I don't know, it might be good to have, have a good, hmm, it's tricky. So I'll go back to that one, but first we got to check out who we have at center. So we have to say Rudy Gobert, but we got Kevin Looney. Do you have any power forwards at all? Jimmy Grant can play power. Willie Colley Stein's a center, but can he play power though? He's fast. Willie is kind of fast. We'll go, I oh, know we're not going to go and trade. We're going to go on... Kings. There we go. So Willie Colley Stein can only play center. Maybe it might be good to have a true center instead of just a power forward who might play center. It's better to have a true center than a mighty, but 
decent. I guess inside scoring's horrible, but you're not gonna really expect too much out of a center. He's just gonna be driving the post anyway, and playing defense. He's got good inside and perimeter defense. Good rebounding or decent rebounding, I guess. Pretty good uh, physical, and his athleticism is better than expected. C plus is higher than average for a center, so I like that about him. Jason Tatum's going up too. It's good, like that. But Willie Cauley Stein, I actually might make that trade. We need a backup center. It might be crucial for the playoffs because Rudy Gobert might be injured. Who knows? We're just what if scenarios? Rudy Gobert goes down. Who do we have to put in? Nobody. Don't want to put in Kev Kevin Looney because he's a practically a rookie when it comes to experience. He's not really that experienced. Whereas Willie Cauley Stein, he's playing on a crappy six. Wait, no. Sacramento is actually pretty good. And a good thing is they're in the West too. So we're not trading exactly to a rival. I might do a trade. Let's go find Jeremy Grant. So we're basically getting all the good things back in Jeremy Grant that we liked, except in Willie Cauley Stein. But we'll go check out some of the other trades too. So let's go in with a second round pick from Sacramento too, 2018. Which we really don't need, but who knows? Trade chip at the deadline. I mean at the draft. Who really knows. But Joe Harris though. I guess we can get rid of him though. We're not really using him too much. But we'll check out the other trades. So Anthony Brown, draw right, nope. LA first round pick in 2019. LA's doing decent so far, so I don't really want to do that. Marley, Maurice Harkless, small forward, 73 overall. Uh, is he on a one-year deal? Two-year deal. He's making two million. Mm, he's got decent stats. B, B minus potential. I don't know if it's really good. Yeah, and it's going. You're giving up Joe Harris too. The same thing. And Glenn Robinson, small forward, second round pick from Indy, 72 overall, 73 overall, I guess. And as hard as in Indiana, so I don't really want to take him away from that. So let's go. Oh, and Kelly Oubre Jr. too, 73 overall, so small forward, obviously from with the Wizards. They're not playing him. He's on the team option. He's got decent starting stats. He's got a okay potential, I guess. But my heart's set out on Willie Cully Stein. Christian Wood, though, who is that? B minus potential. I, I want guys who can get good, kind of thing. But I think Willie Cully Stein is an awesome return for Joe Harris and Jeremy Grant. We gotta make a change. Maybe this is the right change to do for Cleveland. So Willie Cully Stein, Jeremy Grant. Let's try it. So Jeremy Grant, Joe Harris. For Willie Cauley Stein and a second round pick in 2018 from the Sacramento Kings. Will this go through? And it does. The Sacramento Kings have agreed to your trade offer. So you sign at the deadline. We're not trading anybody else, just due to our team. I guess it's solid in a way. Our team, it's not really doing too well. We're like maybe eight wins in the past 20 games, which is horrible. Especially consider considering we're a top contender for the East and the West. I mean, for the, for the NBA title. Trying to go for that three-peat, but I don't know. Your team might be doing better, so let's go change those rotations. Willie Cauley Stein, 80 overall right now. Sixth, I mean seventh man behind Jason Tatum. So we boost up a bit of our back court, I guess. Or no, front court. And yeah, I think that was a pretty good trade deadline. 17 minutes for the newest wizard, I mean, newest uh, Cav, Willie Cauley Stein. Yeah, I think he's going to do great in here. We got that team option for him, so yeah, there you go. Let's go and do the business. Business trade negotiations have been leaked. Amateur hour. Why are they leaking trade negotiations here? It's between me and you, mano a mano. Not the media in this. And Kevin Looney, we'll just go and tell him off. You're not good enough. Get better, then we'll give you minutes. But that means that Kevin Looney can now be a backup to LeBron instead of having a small forward backing up LeBron at power. So that's good. Skills being wasted on the pie. Nobody puts Kevin in the corner or on the bench. Unless you suck, so yeah. Morale goes up, everyone's happy. I think I'm happy too with that trade deadline. So, alright, first we'll check if we have any other moves first. Wait, first uh, contract. Yeah, these guys are not going to get anything. I'm just going to ride the reserves. So, I guess I'll end this episode off right here. So, make sure to like and subscribe for more Cleveland Cavaliers My GM Mode. And thanks for watching, and I will see you later.